Milne Hershey, born September 13, 1857, was the firstborn son to his parents, Franny and Henry Hershey. He was born on a large family farm in Jerry Church, Pennsylvania, which would later be called Hershey, Pennsylvania, during Milton's lifetime. My parents were two completely different people. I was a prominent member of the Reformed Mennonite Church within the Jerry Church community. I held high morals which I impressed upon young Milton. I gave Milton his aspiration for greatness through my many failed business ventures. I introduced him to the perseverance he would later need throughout his business career. Hi, I'm Joseph Reuner, a Lancaster confectionery maker. I gave Milton his first apprenticeship at my store. He worked for me for four years before moving on to his own ideas. After leaving Lancaster, I decided to try my luck at New York and Philadelphia, but after several failed attempts, I moved back home. I then informed Milton of the many job opportunities in Colorado and he came out to work with me. While in Colorado, I met a confectioner who taught me his recipe for milk caramels. With this, I headed back home to yet again start my own business. After the factory was completed in 1905, I began the production of my milk chocolate bars, which would soon explode into the top tier of the New York family market. I wanted to provide the common person with the opportunity to enjoy chocolate at a price that wouldn't break the bank. So I offered five cent chocolate bars as a staple to my business plan. As Milton Hershey's wife, I saw firsthand his kind heartedness. As the factory was open, he realized the hardships his workers were going through, having to travel such long distances to work every day. He started creating the town of Hershey after the purchase of 1,200 acres of land surrounding the factory. We were unable to have children, but we wanted so badly to influence the next generation. We came up with the idea for an industrial school, which served as an orphanage, as well as a place for young men to expand their horizons and teach them valuable life lessons. After I died in 1915, Milton decided to establish the M.S. Hershey Foundation, which would give the Hershey Industrial School the rights to the deed of the Hershey Chocolate Company. He would later join me again in 1945, only a year after his retirement from the Hershey Board of Directors. Why don't we go inside the school and see what we're learning today? This is a very interesting leader that we are discussing in class today. I hear that Brian and Reed made a bet that I would bring in chocolate to class, given the leader we're studying. As a daughter made chocolate, Reed gets a thousand bonus points for being right. Sorry, guys. Well, what can I say? Anyways, does anyone have any thoughts about Hershey's leadership style? Well, Professor Hugo, I feel that Milton Hershey, besides having a very prominent mustache, had a very philanthropic leadership style. Yeah, Zach brings up a very good point. Milton Hershey was a dedicated philanthropist. He gave back to his community in many ways by building a town, school system, university, and hospital. But there has been some reason for this. Does anyone have any ideas as to who was an influence on Hershey within his life and his leadership? Didn't Hershey's parents influence him greatly? His father's perseverance in his, in his business pursuits and his mother's hard work and lifelong dedication to her faith must have influenced him. After all, strong qualities like these usually impact leaders. Ah, very good, Allison. The same can be said for his experiences. His many risky adventures and failed business attempts could only work to make him grow as a leader through learning from his mistakes. This is all very good, guys, but how about his leadership ideals? What were some of the beliefs that Hershey held that would have shaped his leadership approach? Christina, I think I see those wheels turning. Wasn't Alan Hershey known to believe that sharing the fruits of his success with others was a very important aspect of life? After all, Hershey did have a sign hanging above his desk which stated, business is a matter of human service. Exactly right, Christina. Hershey spent his life giving back to his workers and the community that he built for them. A personal view Hershey held was one of graciousness. He believed that his employees made him his money and that it was only right to show his gratitude towards them by improving especially through funding from the company. But so that's all well and good. How was it the historical context during this time of his leadership? Like what was going on in the background of Hershey's life? What happened during this period historically? What are you thinking, Kate? Do you need a greeter? I actually have family who live in Hershey, Pennsylvania, who've told me about Milton over the years. He lived during the turn of the 20th century, both World Wars, the Roaring Twenties, and the Great Depression, which all had an impact on his business ventures and everyday life. During the Depression, he made sure that everyone in the town had a job. He decided that would be the best time to start construction on the hotel. Exactly, Katie. That's very interesting that you have family from there. I bet you get chocolate for all the holidays. But you're right, Hershey lived through both World Wars as well as the Great Depression and the 1920s. 
This meant that Hershey had to adapt his business to fit the times. One example is the five cent chocolate bars. When inflation increased, instead of raising the price, Hers Hershey resized them, keeping his main business plan intact. What else might have happened during this time within our society? It was a major time of change for the women's role in society. With Rosie the Riveter and women being more involved in industry and the jobs, women's roles began to change for the better. Uh huh. And wasn't this when there was a ton of immigrants coming to the United States? So you had overcrowded cities and tons of foreign immigrants as well. Wow, Allison, you should consider switching to a history major. But yes, absolutely. Hershey lived through these pretty crazy times in America. Plus, through both wars as well as the Great Depression, Hershey went to tremendous lengths to keep his company running and keep his workers employed. No. So what are some of Hershey's leadership characteristics? Like what kinds of power does he use, and what are some of the leadership theories that apply to it? So have you guys seen Rebecca's 2000 page literature book? That thing is a monster. That, sc that thing scares me. Emily, I think I see those wheels turning. Well, Milton was a very hardworking, honest, and intelligent, and persistent individual. These were definitely some of his most obvious leadership traits, since he worked hard at building up his numerous business attempts from the ground. And he never gave up on becoming successful with eventual successes thanks to the knowledge he gained from his failures. Very true. Anyone else have any thoughts? Hershey was very big on transformational leadership. He was a philanthropist and big on giving back to his citizens. For example, when he built the town to surround the factory. Absolutely. The idea of philanthropy and transformational leadership basically go hand in hand and both fit perfectly to describe Milton Hershey. Also, we can say that he held a lot of different leadership powers. His followers also followed him because of his use of expert and legitimate powers, since he had, was the best at running the business, and he had a position and role that everyone would follow. So my wife is going out of town again this weekend, so I can eat whatever I want again, finally. Any ideas where I should go? Chipotle? Cece's Pizza? He should just go to Hershey Park and eat lots of chocolate. Uh, that sounds great. Oh, what's, um, I have to take this. My wife went to the doctor today. Hi. First of all, everything is okay. But guess what I found out today? What? It's a boy! Now that you're having a boy, what are you going to do now? We're going, going to Hershey Park! Park. Accidentally zoomed out. It's okay, we'll try again. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck is it moving? also taught me his recipe for milk car caramels. <laughs> <laughs> How do I say that? I try my luck. Like, it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs>